In plastics processing, the moisture content of the granules plays a huge role in the quality of the end product and the process safety. And this moisture in the granules can really cause serious problems during processing. You have to imagine that water is in the plastic and ends up in the processing machine with the granules. There it's melted at very high temperatures of over 100 degrees Celsius. The water evaporates and becomes a gas. This gas causes problems with the melt. For example, bubbles can form, etc. Chemical effects can also occur, which cause hydrolysis in the plastic, which can then damage the plastic and lead to problems with the stability and other chemical and physical properties of the finished product. In short, there is optimal moisture content for every single material. The four most important factors which determine the moisture content are drying temperature, dry airflow, drying time, and dew point. In this episode of Moe's Corner, we want to find out exactly what these factors mean. There are many different types of plastic granules. They're not only different in color and shape, but also in their chemical structure. Some absorb moisture from the air. For others, the moisture remains on the surface. Materials which absorb moisture are called hydroscopic. The first factor that influences the moisture content of a material is the drying temperature. The purpose of drying is to get rid of the water in the granules. The factor that influences this the most is really the drying temperature. So one should try to turn up the drying temperature as high as possible, as this leads to the water leaving the granules as quickly as possible. The drying temperature along with the airflow influence together how quickly a material dries. We know this from drying our hair, for example. If we set the hair dryer to a high temperature setting, then our hair dries more quickly. But be careful, if the hair dryer is too hot, our hair can be damaged by the heat. This is also the case for plastic granules. It cannot be dried at too high a temperature. It's important to find the optimal drying temperature for each material and to keep it constant. The dry airflow can also influence the drying time. The more energy the system needs at a constant temperature, the more airflow is required as the airflow transports the energy. Just like with a hairdryer, there can be too much of a good thing when drying plastics. This is not only uneconomical, but can also interfere with the drying process in the drying bin. The drying time. This factor results from the other factors. For example, a shorter drying time is necessary at higher drying temperatures. But for low dry airflow, drying will take a little longer. The drying time depends on the plastic I want to dry because different plastics have different diffusion speeds for water. If you look at the drying curve, it's the drying time that determines which final moisture content I can achieve. This means that if I wish to dry granules with specific initial moisture to a certain final moisture content for processing, I will have to dry the plastic for a specific amount of time to make sure it's completely dry. This is why drying time is so important. The dew point defines how dry the air is. A value of 100% relative humidity means that the air is saturated with moisture. It cannot absorb any more moisture at the current temperature. If the air is then cooled below the dew point, the moisture in the air condensates. Drying means that water must be removed from the granules, but one has to give the water an impulse for it to leave the granules. The affinity of the air towards the water is dependent on and therefore tied to the dew point. This means that the lower the dew point, the more energy is present in the air to remove the water from the granules. It has become clear that the four factors, drying temperature, dry airflow, drying time and dew point must be balanced. Depending on the specific material properties, the adjustment of these factors can lead to an optimal result. Too much or incorrect drying not only costs money, but can also damage the material.